Point at me, dumbass. <laughs> okay, I see a lot of YouTube videos about how people are falling trees in their yard and they don't know how to fuck to do it. They end up hitting the house or it falls with power lines or it just goes the wrong way. It doesn't hurt nothing, but it goes the wrong way. I'm going to show you the simple technique of how I fall trees. Now, there's other methods used out there by loggers and timber, timber loggers because they're trying to get wood and not pull fibers. If you pull fibers, it costs the loggers money. Today, I'm just doing a demonstration to get to go in the direction you want it to. <coughs> We're going to start off with a face cut. When you look at a tree, there's two things you need to look at. Which way it's leaning, number one. And number two, what side of the tree has more bigger branches and in, in predominantly in the direction that it wants to go. Your branches will tell more or less where the tree is going to go more so than the lean wheel. Some of your professional loggers can get a tree to fall against its lean. It's a whole nother section of stuff I'm not going to get into because it's too complicated. This tree has a little bit of lean out this way. It has a lot of branches on its side, but it's got a few big ones out this way. So I'm going to send it in here where this pile of stuff is that I've dropped. There's three types of face cuts. Your face cut is your wedge or notch, whatever you want to call it. You've got the Humboldt, traditional, and open face. The Humboldt is a flat face cut right here with it's cut through 10% of the tree. All right, excuse me, it cuts through 80% of the width, which means there's going to be 10% of wood on this side and 10% of wood on the other side. The Humboldt, you start with a top flat cut and come out of 45 under it. Traditional is exactly the opposite of the Humboldt, or traditionally the flat face and then down from the top instead of the bottom. An open face is a really wide face. It's when you're really trying to fall a tree hard and get it to fall fast. Usually when you're trying to knock it into another tree. Which means that it's neither one of them is flat, they're both open at about a 45 to 30 degree angle. Now we're back at it. The back cut, you want at least three quarters to an inch of holding wood. That's what's called your hinge wood. It means it's holding the tree there. You don't want to cut past that. In certain situations, you might have to cut past it to do what they call steering the tree. Which means if you cut one side really thin, and leave the other side thick, you're steering the tree from that side that's thin. My cameraman is smiling for some reason. I think he just shit himself. <laughs> this is steel MS-271. It's a farm and ranch saw, not really a pro saw. We're gonna get it started. I like to start my face cut all the time with my flat cut. That way your angle cut lines up a little bit better. Easier to judge that way. But for this demonstration, I'm going to do it the hard way and do my angle cut first. I'm going to do it traditional. Make sure you have eyes and ear protection on if you have them, wear chaps. Oh, well, it's all shit off. I don't have ear protection, I don't have chaps, so we're going to do this the hard way. Start 
Back away from three. Might need to pick a little bit more. Got like 30 seconds. 30 seconds. <laughs> Perfect. Enough holding wood. Flat, flat. See y'all later. Right where I wanted it.